Peace and blessings, y'all. It's your boy, James Anthony. And as we learn to move together, we define the concept of limitless. Today was a great day, man. Today was a phenomenal day. Um, Joel Katz, also known as David Schwartz, tweeted out, um, what did he say? He said, July 13th, 2023 will be known as Victory Day. And, and for good reason too, right? Because we found out today that secondary market sales of XRP, um, are not considered a security, right? So that means the token itself is not a security. Now that depends on the circumstances, right? We've seen a wave of exchanges relist. A wave. Of course, you're going to get individuals like this individual right here. So shout out to Brad Mills. He says, SEC versus XRP case resolution gives even less clarity in my opinion. Crypto insider chats I'm in are all interpreting this as good for altcoins, good for exchanges. I don't think this is good for XRP or altcoins, as the regulators are still negative on tokens and pursuing actions against plenty of major players. Tell me what I got wrong. This case was whether or not Ripple and Garlinghouse, etc. committed securities fraud, not whether XRP was a security. Ripple argued that XRP was like a commodity akin to sugar and gold. The judge ruled that argument was missing the point and said the token was not a security just because it was a cryptographic token on a blockchain. That does not say it's not a security either, but rather they were looking at how it was offered. The institutional sales were securities, the bulk of the XRP transactions. The others like token grants and salary payments were not in this case of whether ripple labs committed securities fraud it was stated that this ruling does not mean xrp is or is not a security sec still holds coins like this are securities and exchanges need broker deal licenses and pumpers need registrations etc so listing xrp for sale without a broker deal license means the exchange is breaking securities laws Coinbase, etc., are already fighting the SEC re these issues for 99% of tokens traded on the platform. So adding XRP back is a political move irrelevant to whether XRP is or is not a security. Fair use notice argument was thrown out and how we test still stands. Seems kind of like there's even less clarity now as the crypto industry is broadly interpreting it as a win for tokens, even though there was no definitive statement that XRP and other tokens are not securities. You gotta love guys like this, like because then we have our beloved uh, Freddie Riz saying, you are mistaken for these reasons. One, whether XRP was a security was Ripple's second affirmative defense. And the judge ruled XRP, the token, is not a security. Page 15. This was the biggest win. This is accurate, but goes to the issue that the token itself is not a security. How it is sold is what matters. Bitcoin can be packaged like a security as can anything depending on the circumstances. Three, institutional sales were defined, page four, as having written contracts with sophisticated buyers and largely were pre-lawsuit agreements. Programmatic sales were defined, page four, largely how P2P transactions occur. This was a green light for secondary sales without making a blanket statement. Other distributions like grants is strikingly similar to airdrops and were cleared. So the vast majority of XRP transactions were blessed as not securities transactions. Four, incorrect. Ruling explicitly said XRP itself is not a security. See page one. Five, SEC can say whatever the F they want. <laughs> SEC can say whatever the F it wants, but the courts literally rejected several arguments along these lines. Six, correct. This ruling is absolutely terrible for all coins, not XRP. Just read pages 19 through 21. For the reasons the court held institutional sales were investment contracts. Almost every project fits these facts. And one of the pandemic era congressional laws passed expanded the statute of limitations for SEC to 10 years. So only projects 2012 and earlier are safe. Seven, also correct. Now, just to say 
let's just have a look at who we know so far that has relisted XRP. We know Bitstamp trading is available in the USA. We know Coinbase. It says that they will re-enable trading, but it already has. I just checked, all right? And I trust Capital. XRP is now available back on I Trust Capital. Wow. And of course, Kraken. Now, I also heard FTX 2.0 and a few others. This is a monumental historic day. There's no two ways about it. Anyone that's trying to FUD the good news. I mean, we've been in this community for years. Some of us more than just a few years. Accumulating, fighting the FUD, just against all odds. I mean, everyone, even a lot of the lawyers were saying, this is looking like 2025, this is looking like 2027. So shout out to Freddie Riz for giving that quick breakdown. This is just something that we need to really appreciate. And on a lighter note, I may have went too far displaying Wemily 347 um, in, in such a light, but I'm passionate about this, okay? People are losing money by the day. Tons of people are losing money by the day because of these scams. It's unfair, it's not right. It's just not right. I do believe we are living through some very biblical times, but unless we are connected with the Lord and seek the Lord on a daily basis through prayer, through devotion, through the word, you know, we're just, we're just fooling ourselves. We're just fooling ourselves. And the reality is, these people are harming the community. They are harming the community. They're, they're putting a bad taste in the mouths of everyone. And whether you want to believe me or not, that's up to you. But I don't make anything from doing this, okay? I don't gain anything from sharing this information. I'm just trying to hopefully prevent somebody else from making the same mistakes that I did. But I trust in the Lord. Believe you me, I trust in the Lord. Romans 8.28 all good things work for the good of God's people, for those who are called according to his will. And I believe I seek the Lord's will in my life on a daily basis. In fact, I gut check myself every day, so I know. Peace and blessings, y'all. See you on the next one.